Okay, so today I'm going to show you an art relaxation technique. Um, but um, I want to talk about art as a, as a um, kind of a sacred ritual as well. So I begin, I begin with everything, with gratitude. And um, my hands are in prayer position, or um, it's also called Anjali Mudra. And I'm just feeling gratitude. And I also start off with a couple of uh, deep breaths. So if you'd like to join in with me, breathing in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then releasing, ah, deep sigh. And we can do that again, breathing in, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then exhaling it all out, ah. And I'm doing a, um, I'm in a yoga teacher training right now. So um, what I'm studying is the um, uh, mudras, which are um, hand gestures. So I'll show you a couple now. If you start off in prayer position, your um, pinkies are held together and your thumbs are together and your other fingers are opening up. And this one is called lotus mudra or padma mudra and it's a great heart opener so if you're meditating and you sit in sit with this mudra for a while but it's a real great heart opener and since we're talking about hearts there's another one I want to show you it's um, called fearless heart or um, a, oh, I forget the name of it, Abhaya something or other. Anyways, it's, it's called Fearless Heart Mudra. So you're taking your right hand in front of your left and the, the backs of your hands are together. Oh, hi, April. And so you're going to um, intertwine your index finger and the second finger and your pinky so that leaves your um the third finger out so the third finger is touching the tips touching your thumbs and this one is called fearless heart mudra so this one if you're meditating sitting in this will um invoke courage and it's also a good heart opener as well and I did this for my son, and he says, uh, it looks like goggles, so yeah, <laughs> which is pretty funny. And that's the fearless heart mudra. So relaxing, just kind of shake out your hands. And I also like to um, light a candle, and the candle symbolizes... Um, sending my light out to the world. I have these nice little beeswax candles that can be hard to light. So with this candle, I'm sending my light out to you. So the art um, relaxation technique, I will just um, switch my camera around so you can see what I'm doing here. Well, I'll actually put it down this way. See if it's in a good spot. I think that's a pretty okay view. So this is what one that I did with um, one of our creatively fit uh, um, coaches, Sharon Handley. And I am going to 
explain how to do it right now. So starting off with your blank sheet of paper, and um, you've probably heard me talk about uh, soul scribbles before. So what you'll do is just close your eyes and then make a scribble uh, for three seconds. So if anyone wants to follow along with me, um, feel right ahead, go right ahead. Oh, I forgot one step before this. <laughs> before we do this, we, um, we write an, an intention. So um, today, I think I'm going to say, and you can just write it anywhere, like in the border of your page. I'm going to say, letting go of perfection. And that's kind of a thing for me because um, sometimes you're afraid to do things because um, you know you want them to be perfect or you're afraid of making a mistake, afraid of messing up. So um, I would like to set that intention for myself today. So we are going to um, close our eyes and um, count for three seconds and just do um, just a, a scribble. So here I go. One, two, three. Okay, so there is my scribble. And the next step, we are going to close any lines that are open and extend them so they fill more of the page. So I've got this little one here. I'm going to extend it out here. And this little one here. I'm going to extend it out more. Didn't miss that. And then I'm going to add a few more lines just randomly so that all our lines join. And I'm not trying to make it look like anything. I'm just doing this um, intuitively. So I want to bring out, I'll just bring another one here just so I have my my whole page filled and maybe we'll end here. And close there. So all your um, lines are closed. And then the next step, we are going to, um, you see where um, any lines cross, there's a sharp edge. So what I'm going to do is go in and just soften these little lines. So just kind of filling in. Any little sharp corners that you have. So right here there's like a little cross so I'm softening up these little lines. This is a good exercise for left brain and right brain. Myself I find it very um, Satisfying filling up these little um, hard edges with rounded, rounded edges. So you just keep going, keep filling up those little. little sharp edges. And here there's a whole bunch here.
So this is really calming, really relaxing. And all you need is a piece of paper and pen. And um, after I'm going to go and add some color. We're just going around and filling it in. So relaxing. Yeah, this last weekend um, was my weekend number five of my yoga teacher training, which is really great. It's um, eight weekends altogether, so I've got three more to go. And if you want to, you can add more lines to this. Um, if you're on my live, if you could, um, comment, say hi, and tell me where you're from. So this is kind of like meditation in motion because you're actively doing something. And it's um, relaxing. And the next step, we can add, um, let's say, let's add um, some circles. So put one here, say one here, and another one here. I'll just uh, darken that line a little bit. And you can make some lines thicker or thin if you want. Whatever you like, because this is your practice. And I've got a few more to do here. So I'm just going in and filling in um, or have any sharp corners, sharp edges, smoothing out my little rough edges. And this is in my art sketchbook, my art journal, I like to call it. And it's just, um, just for me, it's, uh, it's, you know, I'm not making anything that's that I'm putting up for sale from this um, my journal it's for my own my own practice maybe I'll 
bring this one in. Okay, so this is the art relaxation technique. So once I've got all my little sharp corners rounded, I'll be adding some color. And my intention today was letting go of perfection. So it uh, doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm done with that part. And um, I think I might try some watercolor today. I've got um, this, um, it's like a box of uh, solid watercolors. Um, if I can open the thing. Okay, so here's what I got on the go today. A bunch of um, different colors here. And um, I'll pick a brush. I'll probably use this brush here. And I got my bucket of water over here. Gosh, I should probably switch it over because it's more awkward that way. Okay. So I'm just doing whatever color kind of speaks to me today. I'll do a bit of this kind of red. Let's fill in some red here. And just kind of loosely. And you know what? You don't even have to get it in the lines if you don't want to. This red color today, so I'm putting in a bit of red. And one here, another one here, and I feel like kind of like a more brown, earthier color. So let's put some here. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions or anything. So you're just randomly putting some colors down wherever, wherever you feel like it. I feel like a little bit of blue here.
So it kind of has like a stained glass effect too, doesn't it? Which I love. I love stained glass. So yeah, you notice I'm just letting the colors run, um, run into the different spaces. We don't have to keep each color in each space. Maybe I'll add a little bit running on the outside too. So I'm just taking kind of a wet brush still has a little bit of paint on it. But I'm just playing. You could do this with um, anything really if you got crayons or pastels or markers. You could even color it in with markers. But I was in a watercolor kind of mood today. This is an exercise that anyone can do. So there you go. Um, good luck with that. I hope uh, you guys try this out because it's a lot of fun. I'll just put my camera back up here again. So yeah, that was the art relaxation technique, and um, I thank everyone for joining me today. I hope you got something out of it, and I hope you give it a try. So I will say goodbye for now. May you have joy and magic in the art that is your life. Namaste.